watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Good morning, Herricks. I'm Jen Novella, and back with another sports update. Let's start off with the boys' basketball team. They lost their game on Tuesday against Mepham with a score of 57-27. to They have an away game on Monday against New High Park at 4.30. Moving on to the girls' basketball team. The girls lost their game on Tuesday against Mepham with a score of 55-20. to The girls have a home game on Monday against New High Park at 4.30. Next is the boys' and girls' bowling teams. The girls' bowling team is qualified to compete in the Nassau County Championship Tournament tomorrow at Garden City. The girls also ended their season in 10th place out of 40 teams. The boys ended their season 17th place out of 42 teams. Next is the boys' and girls' fencing teams. Both teams had their last match of the season on Tuesday. The boys unfortunately lost to Great Neck South with a score of 16-11. to The girls also lost against Great Neck South with a score of 19-8. to Week in and week out, our competitive cheerleading team continues to thrill audiences with their energetic, complex routines. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, and always stay classy. Thank you for watching HTN Sports. You're watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Good morning, Herricks. I'm Jen Novella, back with another sports update. Let's get right into it, starting off with the girls' basketball team. The girls had a great win against New High Park on Monday with a score of 49-46. to Their next game is today at Long Beach at 4.30. Next is the boys' and girls' fencing teams. They competed in the Nassau County Tournament last Saturday. Jeremy Lau and Giovanna Lau both came in first place. Also, Om Thapur, Michelle Chu, Brianna Singh, Giovanna Lau, Justin Lau, and Jeremy Lau all made it into counties. Congrats to the members of the fencing teams. Moving on to the boys' basketball team. Unfortunately, the boys lost against New High Park with a score of 35-68 to on Monday. Come support the boys at their home game today against Calhoun at 7 p.m. Next is the boys' wrestling team. The boys won their dual meet tournament against Great Neck South and Calhoun. They have a county qualifier at 9.30 at Uniondale. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time. Have a great day and always stay classy. Thank you for watching HTN Sports. watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Good morning, Herricks. I'm Jen Novella, and back with another sports update. The winter season has come to an end, so let's get right into the winter wrap-up. The boys' wrestling team had a great season and ended their season off with a final record of 9-2. and two. Moving on to the girls' basketball team. The girls are ending their season off with a record of 5-14 and 14 after a tough loss against Garden City on Monday with a score of 51-37. to 
Moving on to the boys and girls bowling teams. The boys bowling team is ending off with a final record of 6-6, six and six, and the girls are ending off with a final record of 8-4. and four. Next is the boys swim team. The boys are ending their season off with a final record of 1-8 and eight and 1 tie. Also, congratulations to Taryn Chang and Eduardo Santana for both making it to states. Next is the boys and girls fencing teams. The girls ended off with a final record of 2-5 and five, and the boys ended with a final record of 3-4. and four. Last but not least is the boys basketball team. The boys unfortunately lost their senior game on Monday against Garden City, leaving them with a record of 3-15. and 15. Great job to all the athletes this winter season. Have a great day and always stay classy. Thank you for watching HTN Sports.